Hey there everyone, I'm the Team Likes the Game and welcome back to the episode of Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we actually uh, went through Orberg Gate, we arrived in Orberg City and we got told where the gym is. And I think we went and got Rourke, I'm not 100% sure as it's been a very very long time since I last actually played Pokemon Platinum. How long you may ask? It's been almost a month, okay? For you guys, I don't even know when this video is going to be uploaded, but for you guys... It's not. It's definitely not gonna be a month for uh, the next Pokemon Platinum episode to come out, but it feels good to be playing Pokemon again. I have to say that I've been used to playing Nino Kuni and Kirby Star Allies over the next over the last few weeks, and I have to say it's very nice to be playing Pokemon again. Something I'm familiar with, and uh, something I, I know. I know this game like the back of my hand. Anyway, as always, be sure to be that like button as it really helps with this series. And let's jump into today's episode, shall we? So I think in today's episode, like I was saying, I think. I think we actually have to uh, go find Rourke. I, I'm not 100% sure, but let's check out the team though. It's been so long. Let's check out the team, uh, shall we? So we got Shinx and Piprop. Oh, I forgot we got these awesome team members actually. So let's exit out of there. Actually, no, I don't want to exit out of there because I do believe we're going to have to use Piprop now because Shinx can't do anything in the mine but before we actually go into the mine let's 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 explore orberg city because i don't think we actually got to do that in the last episode there isn't really much to do in orberg city in orberg city you're actually able to there's a few items you're able to get along with i believe there's a pokeball in here or an ultra ball or some sort of like that you can get in here where you get that well i i don't really really remember where you get that i just know you can get that in the city though only thing rock type Pokemon are nice. I like how lumpy they are. <laughs> uh, I guess they're lumpy, lady. I guess they are lumpy. There are rock some rock type Pokemon that aren't really lumpy though. Uh, like uh, like Kranidos. Kranidos is not lumpy at all. Kranidos is awesome. A gym leader isn't like it is any other trainer you meet. Obviously, they're a lot tougher. A lot. I take as many Pokemon as possible if I were you. Okay, buddy. First of all. If you're taking as many Pokemon as you want, you obviously are not very good at Pokemon because gym leaders are not that hard. You know what's harder? The elite four members. Uh, yeah, you, you, I don't know. I just, I just. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was thinking, I was knew there was a Dust Bowl or something in this building. Actually, I did not know it was a Dust Bowl in this building. I just knew that there was some sort of item that was a Pokeball in this building. I just didn't know it was a Dust Bowl. But he named your side yellow just because of its color. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. That's the thing, there, there is no logic. Actually, there is logic behind it. The, the Psyduck's yellow, so why not name him yellow? This Because it's black and yellow, right? Am I right? Am I right? No, nobody? All right. Yeah, so this guy over here will actually trade you a Machop for... Or if you give him Machop, he'll give you an Abra. So if you want to have an Abra this early on in the game and have it get lots of experience, you can do that. I really would have liked if it was a Gadabra, though, because then we would have had an Alakazam within the fourth episode. That would have been awesome, right? Seeing that makes me up here, I want you to have this! And he gives you the grape. Wow, so there's lots of Pokeballs in this area. I don't even know we got this grape ball. I don't think I've ever gotten that grape ball before. Or maybe I have, I just don't remember it. Then again, I, I, I you know what? I, I'm take, I'm I take back that I know like this I know this game like the back of my hand. I'm still finding lots of stuff in the game that I never even knew about. Or my my memory just might be garbage. I think I think is I think it's a second option because I my memory is garbage. But anyway. The last part there is to do in Orberg City. You don't, I mean, you don't have to explore everything like I am right now. And for you guys, you, you're just seeing the important stuff. But like I said in, early in the episodes, I do recommend you look at, uh, talk to everybody as you'll get some really important items from that. But the last part, place to check out in the Orberg City area is this area over here. Uh, this giant lump of coal here. But the important thing over here is that later on, once you get fossil Pokemon, you can actually come bring them over here. And then you're able to revive them that way. That's really important, actually, because... We might actually use a fossil Pokemon. Who knows? Alright, so now it is time to head on over to Orberg... Uh, I almost said Orberg Gym. No, the Orberg Mines. Uh, what are we going to do there? Well, actually, we're going to go and catch ourselves a Geodude. Not because... Well, not because we're going to use it on our team. Uh, but we're actually... There's actually a guy I talked to. And he actually wants us to... Him, he actually wants us to show him a Geodude. And I don't think I've ever done that before. Because, like I said, my memory is garbage. And I normally just don't even talk to everybody in the cities. I know. I'm not even listening to my own advice, right? But no, I want to go see what he actually gives you when you show him the Geodude. Or maybe he doesn't give you anything. Maybe he just wants to see a Geodude because that's how he is. But uh, either way, we're going to go over here and get all these Pokeballs. And there's a hidden item over here to get yourselves as well. I think it's an Elixir. But uh, we'll see in a second here though. I don't, I'm don't. i not 100% sure if it's an Elixir or not. I just know you can get a hidden item in this giant lump of coal over here. Or like this coal pile. 
Yeah, right there. Oh, no, it's a hard skill. That's even better than Elixir, actually. We're not going to talk to that guy over there just because, well, I don't think he says anything useful. And I don't I don't want to waste more time. I want to jump into the Orberg Mines. So here's the Orberg Mine. Uh, there are a few trainers in here you are going to have to battle. So that's why I put Pebble up in front. Everyone who works in low coal mine keeps your own Pokemon with them. You may challenge the balance. Ha ha ha. I guess that's funny. I don't know how that's funny, guy. Ooh, speaking of which, here's a Geodude right now. So let's go and we're gonna go use Pound on this thing because we want we want that. Hey, ass. we got ourselves a Geodude already. So now we we got the ass, which is Geodude in this case, and we're now actually gonna go and see, I'm, I'm really curious to see what this guy is actually. The view is good from the second floor, but it's a pain going outside. If you don't mind, how about show me a Pokemon called Geodude? Oh, that's a Pokemon. That's a Geodude. Wow, that's cool. It's so cute. That does it. I'll go out and catch some Pokemon too. Thank you, my friend. This is talking about my thanks. He gives us a heal ball. Wow, so people are just full of balls in this town. That's that's not inappropriate at all. Alright, so now we can actually fully explore the Orberg mine that are, now I've done that. I never knew that guy gave us the heal ball though, but look at that. There's balls everywhere in this town. I don't know why that is. Alright, I'm gonna keep battling all these wild Pokemon just because, well, I want Pipple to get some HP experience, not HP. Obviously, he's gonna get HP by leveling up, but I want H I want Pipple to get some experience as well. I would like to level up Shinx in here, but I feel like this is, that's a bad idea. I'm gonna let you in my, on in a secret. I stuck my Pokemon to work. Buddy, I, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have Pokemon here because you're in a mine. Like, what if something happened? What if what if the, the, the mine collapsed or something? Then you're, then you're by yourself, aren't you? No, so I think I, I think you're, you've, you've mistaken that. Maybe you just weren't told you're allowed to bring your Pokemon here. Ooh, work here, Mason. Well, now aren't you something? Well, thank you. I try to be something, but I usually end up failing by doing that. Aha! Let's get this Pokeball over here. And this is a potion! Thank you, Kay, for giving us a potion. And now, let's actually see you there. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hit and move rock smash, a boulder blocking your way. Is it tough? Is it fumble is going to be smashed? Whether out of the way, if you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Alrighty, buddy. I was gonna make a really awful pun there, or a really awful TV commercial joke, but but I decided not to do that because I don't want you guys being like Jake. That's so cringy. Fine, alrighty then. Just a quick battle on my break. Haha, <laughs> mercy, I cry mercy. Oh, I guess I guess he was crying. He wasn't saying haha. <laughs> but let's get this escape rope here. And are we gonna use that? Mm, uh, maybe actually. Nah, you know what? That's that's a waste of an escape rope, even though when when else do we use escape ropes? Haha! <laughs> and with the power of editing, we are now in the gym somehow, right? We actually teleported here. Geo dude used teleport on us, and now we're in the gym. That's what happened. Not really. You there, Clyde! Howdy, how is it going to be champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier too. The gym leaders are using the rock type Pokemon. Well listen, rock type Pokemon really hate water, alright? But they're also weak to grass type moves. Gee, they are sure have weaknesses, <laughs> but don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after rock type Pokemon with a fire type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give you. Thanks for listening. Well, thank you, Clyde. Um, he actually doesn't have a name in this game up. It doesn't get a name up until like Generation Five, which is black and white. But because we already know that you have a name, we're gonna call you Cloud anyway. So let's go battle the first chain over here. You avoided the long way around. Let's see why you do that. Now I understand why you decided to battle with me. Yeah, I decided to battle with you because I knew I could take you on. Oh, Piplup's evolving, and I did not even expect that to happen. Did we actually level up in that battle? That just shows you I don't really pay attention to what's going on around me. I probably should do that, actually. And there we go. There we go. This is a mighty Primplup. I wanted to name this thing Emperor, but like I said, you guys actually have the ability to nickname our Pokemon here. Um, the reason why I would name him Emperor as well, because my, my Pokemon Platinum, let's play the very first one. That I actually the first let's play I had on this channel, uh, my pip my Piplup's name was Emperor just because I it rhymed it, the Piplup the Piplup evolution honestly remind me of the Emperor Penguins. I don't even know if they're if they're actually designed after the Emperor Penguins or not, but I feel like that's I feel like that's what they're designed after. So I call him the Emperor, not the Emperor's new groove. No, that's that does not look like that at all. 
Don't get me wrong. It's a good, it's a good movie, but it's not what I'm talking about. Only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. Hey, <laughs> can I put my Onyx in your Gleister? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not being creepy. Now it is time to take on Rourke. So, like, with any important battle, actually, I've never, actually, I've never even said this, but if, if you've been keeping up with my Pokemon walkthroughs and Let's Plays, you know that I always say, with any important battle, save and make sure you do that, because in case you lose or something happens, your DS gets, your DS dies, or when this mic, in my case, if the power goes out, I, I will, I won't have to re-record everything, um, but yeah, always save, you should be sure to do that. Alrighty, once you're done saving, go right ahead and talk to your Rourke himself. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I will need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Alrighty, man, well, Jake versus Rourke. So now, as always, you'll always see bios and stuff like that for any important trainer. I'm not going to say what their moves and stuff are like that. Because uh, you, can, you can read, obviously. If you can't... I am sorry. I am very sorry for that. Um, anyway, let's go for our let's first Pokemon here. Let's go for Bubble against this Pokemon. I think Bubble should actually take care of it in one hit. Uh, at least I'm hoping so. I'm really hoping that's the case. Oh, yes, it is. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So there we go. Geodude's down. It's not, like, it's not like we're gonna have a problem against these Pokemon anyway. It's just I don't really like I don't like losing. And I guess I know, nobody else likes losing, but uh, I like I don't like losing even more. Next up's Onyx. Onyx is like his mediocre Pokemon. Uh, two bubble beams or bubbles to take it out. I'm hoping two will take it out unless we got a very very problem primple up Like I said, I'm not too familiar with how natures and stuff like that work because back in the day when I battled I did wife battles. I didn't care about that stuff. I just Send my Pokemon and hope for the best And last but not least he's got his Kranidos. Kranidos I'm gonna keep battling that um, This with primple up this because well sinks can't do anything and uh, yeah I think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did earlier Oh, hell yeah, I can, man. I definitely can. Let's go for our bubble beam here. And boom. There we go. What does that do? Oh, okay. Okay. Leer. You can you can use Leer all you want. All day, buddy. I am obviously going to win this battle. No, way, not yet. Not giving up. Alrighty, man. You you you, you do that. I'm going to go for bubble here. Ah, oh, you trolled us. No. But fear. Now, that does not really matter at all, actually. Wow, that was a lot of experience. Whoa, 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 that can't be my buffed Pokemon! That was actually quite a bit of experience. I did not expect all that experience. This is embarrassing. I went and I lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's tough, you were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you a gym badge. Since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League cold badge. Oh, yes. We received our final gym badge. We are now victorious because we are the Victini Pokemon after all. <laughs> so now we can actually use Rock Smash as well. And that actually comes in handy because we have ourselves a Geodude. I would like to catch a Beedoof, so I might actually go do that. And he gives us TM76, which is Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock, I've never actually found a reason to use Stealth Rock in normal game. And what I mean by normal game is I've never found a reason to do it outside of Wi-Fi battles. I've never found a legitimate reason to use Stealth Rock outside of Wi-Fi battles. I don't know, I'm repeating myself. Anyway... We're now actually gonna switch. I don't know what I did that. We're actually gonna switch up Primplup with Shinx because I would like Shinx to evolve here pretty soon. But we are not done here just yet. There is a few areas we can go to now, actually, which is this area over here, which is Route 207. And the Route 207 over here, well, we can get ourselves a few items. Or actually, we can get ourselves two items, not a few. I guess that is a few, even though I think a few means more than three. Let's get this item over here, which is a Pokeball. And right across from it, I believe it's another Pokeball, actually. Is it another Pokeball? It is a Pokeball. Sweet. So now, with that being said, that's everything there is to do for Orberg uh, City. Uh, now we can actually go back to Jubilife City, actually, and let's see what the, what's up there. Ah, I found you! Perry, whoops, Jake, you got a gym badge, huh? Eternal City is the next place with a gym that gives you a, a way badge, right? Uh, I guess so. See, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughen up them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to G-Block City. Next stop, they turn on Gym Badge! 10 seconds before I dash. 9! Ah, who's got time to count? 
Um, clearly you don't, even though it- we- we have time here, Barry. Like, come on, buddy. Calm down. Ah, uh, here's Jubilee City. I don't- aw, you ruined the music, looker! Tell me, have you not obtained a pedal pad? Is that not a pedal pad free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement? Um, I don't know. I've not been to the basement yet. I don't like basements. They're scary. Anyway, there appears to be no one shady in this Jubilee City. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere, but my friend has suggested you remain vigilant for shady grown-ups. Um, technically you're a shady grown-up. I just found you behind the Pokemon Center a few episodes ago, so I think you're the shady one here. But I, I, I have a feeling there are some shady- Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we... Can we go back? Oh, no. Let's go over here because we do have one gem badge now. Can we actually go get more Poketch apps? I think so. Or do we got to actually take... Hi, hi. I'm the president of the Poketch company. Hi, hi. Your percentage is rewarded. You've developed a new... Po oh, yes. We actually can get them. So now we get the memo pad. The memo pad can be used for the jotting down quick notes. That's the memo pad. It's well, it is what is it, it well, it is what it is. Alrighty, with getting the memo pad, we are now onward to better and brighter things. Am I right? No, we gotta take care of Team Galactic first. Or wait, I just kind of, I just kind of, never mind. They're not called Team Galactic. Totally not Team called Team Galactic. No, 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 no. Professor Rowan, you must comply. Hand over the region's findings for free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in painful time for your assistant. Ah, Jake. Well, how is it Pokedex progressing? Hmm, that's Orbex Gym Badge, I see. But I haven't given your first Pokemon only recently. Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. Oh, Professor of Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business because this is work for us. What you're saying is we demand you comply with our demands. Quiet, you lot. Why must you be such a nuisance? Let me list some lessons you still need to learn. Number one, don't loiter about for no good reason. Number two, don't interrupt others while they are attempting to converse. Number three, if you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. Number four, don't think you're going just because you're in a group. What is those Zana's uh, outfits you have on? <laughs> now he's just making fun of them. My goodness, you call yourselves adults? You kids don't grow up to be like these sp sorry specimens. Hey, then you made this personal. You have the force of hand into making a show of force. We will make you regret insulting Team Galactic. You kids give these thugs a lesson in civility, please. Jake, let's paddle together. Alrighty, let's, let's do that, Don. How is this mad as possible the two of us losing to children? Uh, I'm guessing they're not children, even though they kind of look like children. Oh, wow, Shinx is evolving. I thought Shinx evolved at level 17. Okay, well, that's awesome then. We got two evolutions this episode. That's awesome. But, I don't know, they kind of look like they got a, uh, a bowl cut, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it, lo it looks like a bowl cut there. Come on, Shinx evolved into Luxio. I think that's what the haircut's called. I'm not 100% sure, though. If you don't know what a bowl cut is, well, it's literally where the person puts a bowl over your head and then just cuts around whatever is not there, and that's, there you go, bam, a bowl cut. It's like a $5 haircut. You leave us no option, we'll retreat for now. We shall do so because Team Mactic is ben benevolent to all. Whatever that may mean. That lot, they call themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that is a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be studying the power's potential. They want us to know if we can use this energy for something. Jake, did you know? The professor started his evolution of Pokemon too. According to the research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. Well, maybe that's the reason those people try to take the professor's uh, research data by force. That's really unforgivable. It's all over, so you can now relax. So thanks to you, G, nothing came of that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, G, kudos to you for battling your battle skill. It got me thinking, why don't you collect all the gym items of Sinnoh? Doing so, you'll be sure to encounter lots of Pokemon. That, of course, means your Pokemon's page will continuously fill up. See? He's just doing this for himself. He doesn't care about our, Poke about our gym badges or whatnot. He just wants the Pokedex pages to be filled up. In other words, it will be great help from... Yeah, so he even admits to that. Kudos to you, Professor, for being honest. That's what I'm giving your first Pokemon, Pokemon and Pokemon as yours to keep. You're free to do with them as you wish to care, take care now. So you're s telling me, Professor, that if I did not... Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. I beg your pardon. I'm from the Jubilife TV. I'd like to have something to let me see with this, that smashing battle. So we obtained the fashion case. Alrighty, that's awesome, actually. So with the fashion case now... Uh, okay, so we, we'll do that before we actually end the episode, because I, I think I was going to end it off there, actually, but I want to do this first. But, like I was saying, though, 
Professor Rowan, were you saying that if we did not allow, uh, if we did, if we wanted to go collect all the eight gym badges of Sinnoh, you're saying that you take the Pokedex and Pokedex from us, or the Pokemon, or Pokemon and our Pokedex from us? That's, that hurts, man. That hurts. But with that guy giving us the accessory case, we are now actually able to go into Jubilife TV, the TV station, which is this one right over here. And then in the Jubilife TV station, there are a few things you can do. There's a lottery thing in here. I don't think we'll ever win this thing just because, well, we don't have any other Pokemon from any other game or from any, like, pretty much from anyone else uh, with ideal match. Yes, yeah, so we'll never get, we'll never be able to win that. Unless our ID gets uh, pulled, which I doubt it will. Because I've never even heard that happening where your own ID gets pulled. So we'll get for our future star. This is actually not why I wanted to come here. So upstairs, I think on the third uh, floor, you are actually able to get the mystery gift for this game. Um, is, yeah, th these guys right here. If you put in a certain th phrase here, you are actually able to get your mystery gift. And what phrase you, that might be, well, it just... Uh, no, I don't want to quit yet. So, what phrase might that be? Well, it's... Literally, we're gonna go and actually do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the easy way. Uh, you go, um, so we want to go for everyone. So everyone, let's see where that is. There's everyone. And then the second one, you want to go for everyone happy. Uh, there we go. So now we can go confirm that. Yes. And he's gonna be like, yo, oh yeah, that's, that's interesting. Moving right along with the people, can you give me about TV? And then the second phrase is Wi-Fi connection. So let's go do that. And there we go. And then this one right here. Let's see. Um, yes. Oh. The fact that you know the phrase tells you you're someone in the know. You're trying to write. I'll pull some strings for you. I think I can swing a deal for you can, so you can receive the mystery gift. Make sure you give your channel turn to turn to the Jubilee Life TV. So back in the day when this was actually relevant, uh, if you did that, if you did that phrase, you're actually able to get yourself as mystery Pokemon um, from the mystery gift channel. Um, back then, the mystery gifts were actually pretty damn cool. You, you, there was different stuff in the game you could unlock. There was actually a a event for Arceus that never got revealed, that never got leased, which I don't, to this day, I still don't understand why this was never re re released or anything like that. But pretty much, there was an Arceus event you could access, uh, a Darkrai event, a Shaman event, and a Rotom event, which actually was only for Pokemon Platinum. Uh, Rot the Rotom event we could not get for uh, Pokemon Diamond Pearl, but what I liked about the mystery games back in these games is that they actually unlock different things in the games. In the newer games, such as uh, X and Y and so forth, none of this stuff exists. You get your mystery gifts, but they're just Pokemon. They're silly Pokemon that you can't get in the games. Like, why Why did they Why did they just decide to stop this? I don't know. That's why I still go with the games up until Black and White had so much effort put into them than the games we have today. And it sucks. It really sucks. Like I really hope that for Pokemon Switch, I really hope that they actually they use they take their time on that game. Because going on to the Pokemon Switch topic um, right now, I'm just right now I'm just kind of ranting on about stuff. But going on to the Pokemon Switch stuff again, as of recording this video right now, there's been rumors going around from a very very reliable source that actually leaked some of the Sun and Moon early Sun and Moon stuff, and so he's very very reliable. Saying that Pokemon Switch will be getting two titles. There's two titles for the games with a 2018 release. I'm very hoping that this is wrong for the 2018 release because I don't want them to release this game this year. I want them to actually work on this game. Yes, there are some people saying, oh, the game's been going on for four years already, Jake. Like, oh, we don't actually know that. We do not know that. There's been no proven facts that this is this is a thing. Um, if that's the case, and there actually has been people. If there's, because I haven't been able to find this information, but if you're able to prove that this is this is correct information, let me know because I've not been able to find that there's been going on for four years. But still, though, I don't know. I feel like the game is Pokemon Platinum and so forth. 
I put one diamond and pearl and hard gold and some silver and black and white. There's so much effort we're putting into these games compared to the ones we have today. Alright, so this guy will just talk about you can mix records and so forth. Can I just dress up my Pokemon, please? Let's dress up, uh, Shinx. Lux, uh, Lux, let's dress up Luxie, not Shinx. Hey, hey, I hope you'll dress up adorably. Oh, I will, sir. I will do that. Alrighty, this is how my Luxio looks. Yes, your Pokemon's all dressed up. And look at that. The lights even sparkle. So cool, right? I don't have any many. I don't have many accessories right now. Uh, would you like to save this design? Sure, why not? Uh, so that's how. That's only. That's only. That's really all I can do right now with the accessories I have. Oh, nice work. Let's display the photo right away. Oh, but it needs a little title. Um, we're gonna go with class because Luxio looks like he's classy, man. Class. Oh, yes, yes, I get it now. Your aesthetic shine through. I put it in your phone right over here. It just looks like it's so perfect there. So, yeah, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff I can go into about why this is important for when the Wi Fi connection was there. But since there's, wifi, there's no Wi Fi connection, I'm not gonna go into that. If you wanna know more about that, well, if, just type in the comment section below and I'll actually I'll reply to you. Anyway, I think I'm gonna actually end it off there for you guys just because I don't want this episode getting too long. But as always, thanks, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out. See you guys then. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day.